Faroe Field and Columbia, Missouri. These fans are juiced up for the start of this game. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Kirk Herbstreet. Aaron Andrews will join us from the sidelines shortly. Texas El Paso tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For Missouri, give us a sense of how their offense works. With this spread attack, they like to have four or five wide receivers on the field at once. They get the quarterback in the shotgun and give him a lot of room to make decisions. He'll have to get good protection from his line to make things work for him. How easy does that make it for a receiver? Run your route, put out your hands, and there's the ball. That is scary accuracy in a big game. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. They come out on an empty backfield. And he throws it away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Easily on the inside handoff. Nice run there. Easily gains around six yards on the draw play right there. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They'll start at the 20 yard line. First. to go. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. The defense just met the blockers head-on and drove them back straight into the runner. They run the middle and nothing there. Three-yard gain by the running back. Well, those are the kind of hits that'll take some miles off a of ball carrier. The intensity of this place is increasing. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Atkins is waiting for the snap. Booming kick. They'll bring him down at the 34. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Good outside run there. Easily. Get six yards on the play. Sanders doesn't like what he sees. He's going to go for the home run. And he's brought down at the four. I'm not sure the defender even saw that pass. It was lobbed so high. Great concentration to haul it in. gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And it looks like they're not even going to try to cover these receivers. Run play, and he'll lose yards. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from this safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. They come out on an empty backfield. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. And he's taken down at the one-yard line. Pickup of about seven that time on the screen play. You got to love the screen pass. 
Pretty good blocking in front, and it netted some decent yards. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And this one's broken up. Anytime you can put the quarterback on the ground, or in this case, bat the ball at the line of scrimmage, you're letting your presence be felt. Believe me, that quarterback is aware of the play of the defensive front. Looking to throw. And he tackles him hard at the nine. It's third down, a yard for the first down. Ball on their own nine. And this crowd trying to will their defense to make a stop here on third and short. Here's a run. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Classic situational play calling. Running strong on third and short, it'll move the chains. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 11. Up the middle for a nice game. Brown comes away with five yards on the carry. They're about four yards away here on second down. I don't think we'll have time to get this playoff. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. So they get about four yards from play action. Tight end does a good job here of selling his block and then getting out on his route and then making a nice catch for a good game. And it looks like they're going to bring everyone in tight for this one. And they get nice yardage on that run. So the ground game picks up another first down. Boy, this really works on a defense's psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now are just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. He caught it, and he's tackled at the 19-yard line. He's just broken the school's record for passing yards in a season. He's taken apart every secondary they've faced, and now he's got this great achievement to show for it. Nice run there as they work the outside. Brown picks up about seven yards on the run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Brown on the give. Touchdown, UTEP! And he converts the extra point. So a nine-play, 100-yard drive. And it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 7-0. They'll go to work at the 20. First and 10. On the move, he throws complete. They'll bring him down at the 38. And for Sanders, he's off to a good start, getting 100 yards already. Still a long game, and I'm sure this defense is going to adjust to this passing attack because right now the offense is seemingly moving the ball at will. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Sanders drops back to pass. Got a man. Watch out here. The 10. Touchdown. Big play. The wideout here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. Once he gets those jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop it. 
They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. It was a quick three-play, 80-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Caught at the eight. And he just got drilled. He made a good cut up field, got a few blocks, and they were able to come up with a decent return. They'll take over at the 46-yard line, first and 10. Brown gets the carry. Gets out to around the 38. He's put up mind-blowing statistics this year, and this might be the biggest one. 2,500 yards rushing. Well, he's been consistent. He's been playing hard all year, week in and week out. That's all you need when you can rush for that many yards. The safety comes up with a nice sack. Yes, he does. Here he comes clean on the blitz and got to the quarterback before he had a chance to really go through his progression. Nice play for this defense. Can't find anyone open. He's at the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at the 31. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. This place is getting loud. Here's the back. Nowhere to go. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Got a man in and out of his hands. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. Nice run, and he's brought down easily. Gains around six yards on the run. Sanders adjusts the play at the line. Pass right, running back's got it. And he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. Sanders set to go to the air. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. And he's got 200 yards passing now. Well, the quarterback's playing well, but let's not forget about the pass protection. The hog mollies up front are giving him plenty of time to make good throws. Here's the toss. He's got room. Nice run to the outside. Five-yard gain on the toss play. They'll spread the field with five wide. Sanders doesn't like what he sees. Looks to pass. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Holland picks up about three with that catch. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Here's the pass, broken up. Wasn't a bad pass at all, but just a good heads up effort to get his fingertips on the ball. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Incomplete. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. Catches it, and that's all. Four yards on that play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. They'll drop him for a loss. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. They line up at the 10. It's third down. Halfback gets the call, and he answers big time. The 50, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10, 
And he's out of bounds at the one. Don't look now, but he's closing in on the single season rushing record. Every carry on every down, this guy has been an absolute workhorse. He has an excellent workout regimen, and that helps him take all the punishment that he receives. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. They'll run, and he takes it in. He makes the PAT. So a four-play, 92-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 14-7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. It's first and 10. Easily with the toss. Nice run there as they work the outside. Easily. Gains about four yards on the play. Sanders changes the play at the line. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. From their own 24 yard line, third down. drill at the 44 yard line I like this wide receiver a lot he knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball he made a terrific play to keep this drive alive fires to the wide out first down he's all the way home touchdown and for Sanders he's had a lot of early success throwing the ball how about 300 yards you got to give credit to this quarterback. He's really lighting them up back there. He's making picture-perfect passes, and guys are catching everything. And he... On the extra point. So a four-play, 80-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Young has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He gets hit out of bounds at the 29-yard line. The offense will take over at the 29. First down, 10 to go. Run play, and he'll lose yards. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. On the handoff, watch out. He did not get to the first down marker. Gutsy play to try to run for the first. They're just short. Well, they had a long way to go and figured the defense would be playing pass. So why not try to pull one over him? He's taken down at the 41-yard line. You can bet that the quarterback is smiling over there on the sidelines. Let's see if they do something with the ball now that they have another shot at it. Drops back to pass. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. Second down and a couple of feet. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's on the run. Way to look it in. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly.
Here's the run. Got a hole. To the 10. And they finally knock him out at the 2. What an unbelievable accomplishment. The all-time mark for rushing yards in a season. This is one of those individual milestones that's especially hollowed. But you know that he's going to share the spotlight with his teammates. They're all enjoying this moment. They're crowding the line. That's a great tackle at the two-yard line. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Woo. I think everybody in the stadium felt that hit. He really laid some lumber there. He's in. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 71-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So the score now, 21-14. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And for Sanders, he's looking sharp in this outing. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads. He's delivering the football in rhythm. And the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. But let's also give credit to this offensive line. Every single time this defense has blitzed, they've been able to protect him and give him the time that he needs to be able to deliver the football downfield. These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. So the penalty puts him back for a first and long. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. They line up at the 12. Second down. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Don't think the other receivers didn't see that hit. They'll be thinking about this guy when they're running their routes, too. Third down and a couple of miles here. Ball on their own 12. Pressure coming, and the ball is loose. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. They'll try the fullback, and he plows in for the touchdown. These blocking backs do a lot of dirty work during the game, so it's good to reward them. Let him barrel it in for a score once in a while. I think it goes without saying that that was a very well-deserved score. And he hits the PAT. Texas El Paso to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll start at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Gets it. He's in space. And he's brought down at the 45-yard line. That was a nice play. You know, we talk about this every week, adjusting to the blitz. The quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting to the play. Good-looking pass. Frank gets a handoff to the right. Nice run there. Sanders running the option, and he's stopped behind the line. That's a great stop by the All-American. This guy is such a great player, Brad. When we see this guy at the award show at the end of the year, we're going to have to give him an extra suitcase to bring home all of his awards. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. Man, that's tough for this defense. They came so close to stopping the conversion, but they'll have to stay out there again now. Catches it and hit for no gain. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. Doesn't look like this defense is going to let them beat them with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end.
Tackle at the 35-yard line. That was spectacular. He skied for that pass and somehow got his hands on it and made the catch. And the big catch nets him about eight yards on second down. Sanders doesn't like what he sees. With a quick throw. That close to being intercepted. Well, what do you do here, Kirk? It's a tough call. They got stopped on third down, but I'd be surprised if they didn't take another shot at it here on fourth and short. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Sanders, the ball carrier. They don't get it. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. And it's knocked down. From their own 34-yard line, second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Gets a snap, and he's in trouble. Short pass, middle of the field. They'll bring him down at the 45. He's quickly reached 100 yards through the air. Well, the quarterback is making great reads, and he's doing a good job of finding his open receivers. As we change ends of the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. The score here in Columbia, Texas El Paso, 28, Missouri, 14. Here's the long ball, left side. No, incomplete. And the safety comes up with a nice play. These safeties are not only physical, but here is showing the athletic ability to get a hand on the ball. That is great coverage. Gives it to the back. Gets out to around the 45. From the 45-yard line, first down. Finds his receiver, and that's a first down. Boy, this is a really risky call by the defense. When you send both your corners, you leave yourself vulnerable to some passes downfield if those guys don't get to the quarterback in time. And that sets them up with a first and goal. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. But not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. Throws it and is caught for the touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 66-yard drive. And the result, seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So our score, 35-14. They'll go to work at the 20. Tipped away. This guy is mostly used to stop the run, but here he showed that he's not too bad against the pass either. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. Nowhere to go on the delay. Try to change the play. He unloads it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Gets a block on the corner. He makes it out to midfield. What a game it's been for him running the ball, Kirk. Why, he has, but let's also give some credit to the offensive line. Doing a tremendous job of pushing the defensive line back to give the running back some room to work with. And when you're an offensive coordinator and you have a back that's in this kind of zone, the most important thing for you to do, continue to give him the ball and continue to keep these drives alive because right now he is unstoppable.
First and ten. Ball on the 30. Wide receiver screenplay. He gets hit out of bounds at the 20-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Again, he'll get the call. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. Drops back on first down. Going to the end zone. Touchdown for the tight end. These kids have to be pretty shell-shocked right now, trying to figure out what hit them. I don't care what level you're playing at or even what sport. Getting slapped around like this is painful. Texas El Paso lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll go to work at the 20. We've got a first and 10. Here's the toss. He's got room. He's knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. And a huge run by the tailback. This guy's always had outstanding vision, but it seems he's got some incredible quickness as well once he gets into the open field. He may have changed things up here. They'll go with the run once again. Makes it out to about the 49. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. First and 10, ball on the 49-yard line. Here's the screen to the wideout. And they finally push him out at the 24-yard line. Perfect time to go with the screen. They were anticipating blitz, and once the receiver got past the initial trash, he had some good running room. He's going left. And this one's broken up. Great play by the safety to keep him out of the end zone. If he doesn't get a hand in there, that's going to be six. Nice individual effort there by the safety. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 24. Jackson on the inside handoff. The young men on the offense must be completely demoralized right now. It just hasn't been their day. They'll set up shop at the 23-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. With an injury update, here's Aaron Andrews. Thanks, guys. They've given me some more information down here about that injured foot. They're saying it's just a sprain. While the injury isn't too serious, he is out for the rest of the game. Let's send it back upstairs for more. All right, thanks for the update, Aaron. Certainly not good news. Let's hope he doesn't miss any extended playing time. Back to pass. Here's the tight end. Drops. That is a great hit. And we're not just talking about some undersized wide receiver. This is a big guy, and you've really got to bring it to knock the ball away like he did there. Atkins is the putter. Tackle at the 27-yard line. They'll turn the ball over on down. Questionable play calling there by the coaching staff. It's way too early in the game to be going for it on fourth down. I would have punted the ball in that situation. And while I disagree with the call, I've got to admire the tenacity of this coach. He'll do just about anything to win. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. They come out on an empty backfield. 
Feeds it to the back. And he's level at the 15-yard line. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. Hands it off inside. Brought down. Jackson gains around three yards on the run. Sanders adjusts the play at the line. Catches it. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. Throws, and he's got the fullback. Touchdown. That makes it three touchdown passes this half. This quarterback is going to continue to tear him up until they get some pressure on him. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 27-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 42-21. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The offense will start at the 22-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Runs it up the gut, but he hit a wall of defenders. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. I feel the corner position is really one of the hardest to play. So when I see a young player like this make a play like that, phew, it's impressive. They run straight, brought down quickly. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. Nice tackle there from the freshman, coming down from his position at safety and making a solid tackle on the ball carrier. He's hit and taken down. I think he just barely got it. That's a great job by both the quarterback and receiver to keep this drive alive. They're packed in tight on the line. Up the middle for a nice game. From their own 39-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. Hand off to the back. Look out. Makes it out to about the 30. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. Burke gets another handoff. Gets to about the 27-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Sacked on the fake handoff. Unfortunately, I've taken a few of those in my day, and they are not pleasant. Fakes the handoff. Defense coming. He's pushed out of bounds at the 12. So they run it on fourth down, and they pick up the first. Boy, big play there, Brad. You know, a lot of times on fourth down, you'll see the ball carrier panic, but not this guy. This is a good job of showing patience and letting the run develop. With the pass incomplete. He overthrew the intended receiver. Oh, boy. They take a shot here at the end zone, and he just let that one get away from him. Great concentration. It's third down. They can smell the end zone as they line up three yards out. They come out in a goal line set. 
Here's the fullback touchdown. So they give it to the fullback, and he crosses the goal line. Well, this is a guy who gets the job done no matter what you ask him to do, and it's a big reason why many see him as the best fullback in the country. And he tacks on the extra point. A 13-play, 79-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for a defense. The score now, 49-21. And he just got drilled. They'll set up shot at the 24. On the throw, incomplete pass. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Jackson gets the call. Makes it to the 37. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. He may have changed things up here. Tackled after a decent pickup. They'll spread the field with five wide. They're calling an audible. Sanders back to throw. Caught. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Here's a run. Good outside run there. run and he's brought down there was some movement on the line Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Big stop by the defense. They'll get the ball here at the 37. First down, 10 yards to go. They'll give it off here. He makes it to the 38-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. He's going to try and scramble. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. A five-yard gain. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. They'll spread the field with five wide. He drops back. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Great job of not forcing the ball into coverage and risking a turnover. I'll tell you, the more we watch his game, the more we see how deserving he is of getting all this Heisman hype. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Texas El Paso with a commanding lead. Back to pass. He passes it. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. He's brought down in the open field. 
excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. UTEP with a big advantage. Here's the run. Got a hole. Touchdown, UTEP. Well-designed play to get the half back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. And he tacks on the extra point. So a six-play, 63-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. So our score, 56-21. Texas El Paso is lining up to kick this one off. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Hill fields it at the 30. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. Nothing much on the return there. Not much is right. That coverage was all over him. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. They'll go with the option. And the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. What can you say if you're on this offense? You're already chasing these guys, and now you've got to give them the ball back. Not the way you want to get back into this game. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Halfback gets the call, and he answers big time. Makes it out to about the 26. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26. To the right and tackled immediately. Graves gains about two yards on the run. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. They pick up two on the pass play. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. Five wide. It's the sophomore that's got it. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. Texas El Paso to kick this one off. And this is just a booming kick. Down at the 27 yard line. This drive will start at the 27. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Jackson picks up about four yards on the play. Sanders adjusts the play at the line. Nice run, and he's brought down. The option to the tailback, good for about four yards. Sanders doesn't like what he sees. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. You just can't say enough for this performance. The passing yards just keep piling up, reaching 400 yards now. A lot of things have to happen to have a half like this. Your blocking obviously has to be great. Your receivers need to be on their game. And most of all, your passes have to be sharp. It's all clicking right now for this offense and for this quarterback. Yeah, it sure has been easy to compliment this kid today. He's had a great game. Try to change the play. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. And he gets a yard on the run. Sanders adjusts the play at the line. He's taken down at the 20. Well, how about the poise? This kid wasn't worried about the blitz at all. Both middle linebackers were coming, and he stayed calm and delivered the football for a new set of downs. Jackson will try the left side. 
tackled for a loss. You don't want to let your running backs keep getting in the loss of yardage situations. It'll wear down the best of them. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. Two-yard loss for the halfback. That is a textbook tackle right there. He leveled his shoulders and just put his whole body weight behind that one. Great hit. Sanders drops back. Wide open. He drops it. Now, the quarterback has to be careful here not to leave his receiver so vulnerable like that. He took a licking right there. It's fourth down. And the kicker's on to try this one from 39. And the field goal is good. Missouri is ready to kick it away. At the 30, at the 40, across midfield. And he's brought down at the 42-yard line. He made a good cut up field, got a few blocks, and they were able to come up with a decent return. They'll go to work at the 42. First and 10. They work the right side, and there is nothing going there. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Here's the run, got a hole, gets out to around the 28. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he couldn't manage to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Well, let's see how that affects him here in this situation. No good. He missed it to the right. And that's it for the first half, and this game is getting ugly. The score here in Columbia, UTEP 59, Missouri 24. Missouri will be kicking off, and I hope you're as ready as I am to get the second half underway. It's fielded at the two. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. For UTEP, the first half was a pretty easy ride, and they should have no problem finishing strong. For more, let's send it down to Aaron. Well, as they headed to the locker room, they had an extra bounce in their step and almost seemed disappointed they couldn't keep playing right into the third and adding to this lead. On the other sideline, it was the exact opposite. They seemed glad to get into the locker room. I'm sure they received an earful from their coaching staff. And for Missouri, their defensive coordinator was pleased with the two sacks in the first half, but challenged his defense to get more pressure. Back up to you, Brad. Handoff brought down quickly. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 38. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's got the freshman. And they bring him down at the 31. From the 31 yard line, it's first down. Brown, again, makes it out to about the 23. Brown gets eight yards on the play. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's under some heat, rolls to the left. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner route versus man coverage, and you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Weatherford picks up about four yards with a catch.
from the one yard line. Second down. They put everyone up on the line. There's the handoff. He scores. We're almost out of room on the stat sheet for this kid. Make it five touchdowns. And don't get me wrong here. This is amazing. But how much more of this can we really take? This game hasn't even been close. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 75-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 66-24. Texas El Paso lines up for the kickoff. Brought down at the 24-yard line. And for Frank, he's putting up some very impressive numbers today in the passing game. Well, not only is he having a great game, but he also just seems to be having fun out there. I think the entire offense, for that matter, the entire team, seems to be responding to his infectious attitude. There's no doubt that games like this attract the attention of pro scouts. They bring the quarterback down. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. <laughs> Throws to the receiver. Incomplete. He put a little bit too much mustard on that throw, and it got away from him. From their own 18-yard line, it's third down. Passes it, and it's picked off by the safety. Inside the 30. He's tackled at the 22. You don't want to criticize a quarterback for trying to make something happen, but I'm not really sure who he thought he was throwing the ball to there. Throws it, and it's tipped away. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. Second and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. They'll bring him down at the 10-yard line. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. He tried to force it to a man that wasn't open, and boy, was he lucky it wasn't picked off. He's got to be more careful when throwing the football into the end zone. It's second down, 10 yards away from a score. Inside handoff. Tackled after a decent pickup. Burke gains around six yards on the run. It's third down. They're four yards away. Here we go. Gives it to the back. Touchdown. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. So that's a five-play, 22-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 73 24. He boots it deep downfield. Brought down at the 17 yard line. They'll set up shop at the 17. And he goes down quickly. Complete brought down, nothing doing. 
Only three yards there on the throw. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Sanders calls an audible. They'll throw for the first. And it's intercepted. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. I think that interception pretty much sums up this whole game. The throw was lousy, and the defense simply stepped up and made yet another play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Wide open is his tight end. Tackle made at the 32. Cummings gained seven yards with a catch there. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they'll try to get the first through the air. And this will be caught. Touchdown. And that completion gives him over 300 yards through the air. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. And he converts the extra point. A short three-play, 39-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. The score now, 80-24. Across the 30. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Really nice job here by the return man and his blockers. Now the offense has to capitalize on this opportunity. They'll go to work at the 47. They toss it. He's got the corner. Decent run here, right side. The halfback toss gets maybe four yards. Complete. It's the junior brought down at the 43. So they get it out there for about six yards, and that's a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. Jackson takes the toss left. He gets hit out of bounds at the 29. The thing about the toss is if the blocking is set up well out in front of the runner, he can really pick up a good head of steam before he encounters any potential defenders. He may have changed things up here. He's taken down at the 27. The running back gets two on the carry. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. He's changing things up. Sanders options out to the left. He makes it to the 25-yard line. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. Try to change the play. Back to the running back, and he gets nowhere. Loss of two by the halfback. They're going to try a long field goal here. This one is from about 44 yards away. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's through the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. So the score now, UTEP 80, Missouri 27. He's to the 10. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 34. On the handoff, watch out. And they make the stop at the 45.
from their own 45-yard line. First down. Here's the give. To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown! You love to have a home run threat like him in the backfield. Every time he touches the ball, he's capable of tearing one off like that. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick two-play, 66-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lines. So our score, 87-27. He makes it to the 25-yard line. They'll go to work at the 25, first and 10. Throws a laser across the middle. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Parker picks him up about three yards with a catch. Looking to throw. Slings it out there incomplete. Pitch third down, eight to go. Ball on their own 28. He gets hit out of bounds at the 33-yard line. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. He's out to the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. This drive will start at the 43. Throw in deep down the left sideline. This one is batted away. You've got to admire the coverage for being able to deny the home run ball so cleanly. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. The freshman makes the catch. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could a play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Here's the option, and they'll get him in the backfield. He wasn't decisive at all in that option, and once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's scrambling. Tackle at the 17-yard line. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And it's knocked away. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Fires incomplete, knocked away. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. Third down again. He's going to try and scramble. Looking for his man, incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on...
timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. So the kicker can't make the field goal there, and this defense comes away with a small victory. And our score, Texas El Paso, 87, Missouri, 27. Sanders on the option left side. He tackles him for a loss. I'm not even sure the ball carrier saw the corner coming for him. That happened so fast, he never had a chance to make a move. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. And he's hit immediately. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. The secondary decided to drop back into coverage here, and there was nobody open for the quarterback to deliver the ball to. Good job by the D. And he shoved out of bounds at the 43-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. This drive will start at the 43. First down, 10 yards to go. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. That was a nice, nice play to close on the ball like that. You can't teach that kind of reaction. It's just natural ability. They come out in a five-wide set. Looking to throw. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. They rolled the pocket, and that looked like a pretty nice little play. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Makes it out to about the 39. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. They'll throw on first down. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. First and 10. Ball on the 25. He's on the run. Gets it to his tight end for a first down. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. You've probably heard it said that there's holding on every play. It's just not called. I don't think it's really that prevalent, but you can get away with it sometimes, and other times you can't. He's taken down at the 11. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Here's the eighth play of the series. It's second down. They come out in a goal line set. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. Graves picks up a yard on the play. If it's any consolation, he did pick up some positive yards, but I doubt that's enough to make him forget the hit that he just took. And he's immediately tackled. Burke picks him up about three yards with a catch. It's fourth down. They'll line up the field goal unit, and this one is from 24 yards out. Kicks up, and he got it. Tackled at the 44. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. Huh? 
gets caught. And he's tackled at the 33. And for Sanders, he's just established a new school record for passing yards in a game. Every single pass he has thrown has been spot on today. The guys catching the ball have been pretty sharp, too. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Trying to change the play. Jackson will run it again. He's got an opening. He's all the way. Touchdown. Great looking play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. It can't get much better than that. Now you see him, now you don't. A very impressive run, net six. And he adds the extra point. A short three play, 56 yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score, 90-34. Caught at the eight. And he's tackled at the 40. The offense will start at the 40-yard line. First down, 10 to go. They'll throw on first down. He throws it. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. And he's going to be sacked. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's looking to pass. Now he's flushed and they got him. I think these guys have come to play today. It's tough to go down like that again, but an experienced quarterback like this knows how to come back from such adversity. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Well, I'm not sure I really agree with this call to go for it, but that's why I'm not coaching, folks. Finds his receiver who's all alone. Tackle at the 33-yard line. If they'd punted, they would have pushed them back pretty far. Now, by failing on fourth down, they've given a pretty decent field position. Not a great gamble by going for it. That one's incomplete. It's always tough trying to put the ball out of the defender's reach, but where your guy can still come down with it in bounds. It takes a lot more precision than it looks. Catches it. He has some room at the point, and he's taken down at the 32. And for Sanders, this has been an offensive explosion. Make it 500 yards passing. Well, 500 yards is something you can only dream about as a kid, but to do it in a college football game? Wow. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Jackson gets seven yards on the play. It's knocked away, incomplete. From the 25-yard line, third down. Jackson, off the right side, makes it to the 11. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. They're calling an audible. 
Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. And for Sanders, he rings up his fourth scoring pass of the game. All the hard work he puts in is finally paying off. It's been rewarded here. It was some pretty good throws, leading to some remarkable touchdowns. And he converts the extra point. A nice six-play, 67-yard drive. And they put up seven points. The score now, 90-41. Fielded at the four. Brought down at the 30-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 30. First and 10. Looks like someone was called for holding. Way too much jersey there. Pretty easy call for the official. It's first down and a lot. Ready. Ready, team. Ready, team. Bumbo! They'll knock him down for a loss. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. And we reach the end of the three, and this game is all but decided. The score here in Columbia, UTEP 90, Missouri 41. They'll make... I think these guys have come to play today. Well, this offense is running plays that are taking way too long to develop, giving the defense plenty of time to get after the quarterback. And boy, they're putting a lot of pressure on him. Here's the run, got a hole, and down he goes at the 26-yard line. On the third and long, they decided to run it. No, it's not that crazy here because they have the lead in the fourth quarter, so their main focus is to keep that clock running. Hands off to the tailback, and he's got daylight. Makes it to the four. From their own 47-yard line, first down. They'll work the left side. And they make the stop at the 37-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. He's on the run. It's batted down, incomplete. From the 37-yard line, it's second down. They go with the run. Makes it to the 24. And this play is number eight on the drive. First down. And he's tackled right away. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. It's the ninth play of the drive. And it's knocked away. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go.
Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. And it splits the uprights. Atkins is lined up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This young man established a new school record a little bit earlier. Most passing yards in a game. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He looks to throw on first down. Here's a throw and it's almost picked. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision. But that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Hall picks him up around seven yards with that catch. He's changing things up. He gets sacked on the play. Just an excellent individual effort to make the play there. I tell you, for being so young, he looks pretty good out there, linebacker. Young awaits the snap. Oh, excellent punt. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 42. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. Defense coming, and the ball comes out. And the ball changed hands now after the fumble. This is a great bonus for this defense. They are taught to attack and try to strip the football, and this is a result of their aggressive play. Drops back on first down. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. Knocked out of bounds at the 16. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Might have been some early movement up front. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Complete. It's the junior. Cross. Gets him about three yards with a completion. Texas El Paso will take it. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Fumble, loose ball. He has some room. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. But it always makes you nervous anytime a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. Man, did it work out for him here for a big-time play in the score. And he adds the extra point. Fourth quarter and more than 11 minutes left. And our score is UTEP 93, Missouri 55. Hood from the five. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. For Missouri, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. You know, right now they're just putting on a clinic. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. Well, you go back and you think about all the difficulties that they've had in pass protection. And now to see some success in running the ball, if this offensive coordinator is smart, continue to run the football at this defense. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He makes it to the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line. Second down.
Smith steps back to pass. Pass is tipped away. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball is in the air and then making the play. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. That's a nice run, but it's short of the first down. Good play by the defense to stop them just short. Atkins to punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And he has it on the corner. And he's taken down at the 19-yard line. When he made the decision... They'll start at the 24-yard line. First and 10. They go with the back, and he's got room. Good tackle there in space. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. They come out on an empty backfield. Smith calls an audible. Complete, broken up. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. They come out in a goal line set. Handoff inside, and he's quickly brought down. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short gain. Nice stop by the junior. taken down at the 32-yard line. You know, this could be considered rubbing salt in the wounds, but you have to keep playing for the entire 60 minutes. So if the defense has a problem with it, they need to defend it better. Going right, intercepted. Nice interception. Too bad they... from their own 20-yard line. First down. They come out on an empty backfield. He's looking deep down the left side. Incomplete. He was off target that time. Yeah, you can see his arm strength, but here he overthrew the intended receiver on the deep route. Here's the run, got a hole. Makes it to the 34. They'll bring him down at the 43. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Got a receiver and he dropped it. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wideout was left out to dry that time. Woo. Toss. Nice gain as he works the right side. They didn't try to just force something there. Just good, hard running for the first down. The Miners take a timeout. Just over two minutes in the game. Ready, Finds 
change his man, and they take him down immediately. Awesome extension to make the grab. It looked for sure like it was going to be out of his reach. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Passing into coverage, and this one's going to be picked off. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. That is it. First and 10, ball on the 47. Five wide. Swatted away. The clock will stop with that incompletion. Boy, I don't understand that strategy at all. With the lead late in the game, you just need to run the football. That's not a smart decision. We have less than a minute to go. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Graves gets three yards on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. They go with the back, and he's not going to make it. They just kind of spun their wheels here, but credit to defense with not giving up any ground. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. 